After downloading the PM66 program from the electronics123.com website, locate the file using Windows Explorer. The file is in .rar format. In order to use the file, it will need to be uncompressed. You can use a program such as WinRAR to uncompress the file. Double click the file to open it in WinRAR. Click the Extract To button. Select a file location and then click OK. Close WinRAR when extraction is complete. Locate the extraction folder in Windows Explorer. Right click on the setup file. Select run as administrator. Put in your administrator password and select yes. Once the installer comes up and prompts you, click next. Allow the installation to complete. After installing PM66, Find the icon on your desktop. Right click and select Run as Administrator. This is the PM66 writing program. Now connect your USB device to the computer. Select Checkboard in the PM66 Writer software. Make sure the interface is set to key. Under key, this is where you select the button of, that will correspond to the message that you want to play. In this case, we're just going to select K1 for the first key. The trigger function has variable settings to adjust how the message is played and whether or not it repeats or it can be stopped during playback. Make sure under voice output that you've selected DAC for extended amp. The volume can also be changed. However, keep in mind that the louder the volume goes, the more likely you are to have static noise and distortion in the audio. Select the drop down arrow under wave. Click new wave. Navigate to the file that you want to use and open it. You can record multiple files to one key that will play in a sequence. To go to your next key, just simply select under key, key 2, and now you can create a new WAV file for each. When you're finished creating files for each key, Click the board that corresponds to, to you, in this case PM66. Your message will record to the board.